Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 3. So last time, we defeat or not defeated, what am I talking about? Or that's a great start right now. We did pretty much everything in Castle Sassoon, but yeah, we defeated the Griffin, which is kind of like the mini boss training kind of in Castle Sassoon, whatever. But anyways, what we have to do now is go to the one and only area left that we can go to because I didn't talk about this, but the airship actually can't go through mountains in this game, at least this one. There is one way in the future that can, but only in certain points. But for the most part, airships are pretty bad in this game because they can't go over mountains. Like, what the hell kind of airship is that? If it can't fly over mountains, are you kidding me? So, we've explored everything. You know, the cave up there is the Altar Cave, that's Ur. This is Kazus, or Kazus, whatever. This is blocked by boulders, and then Castle Sastoon is over here. And there's only one area left to go, right up here. This is the sealed cave, which is the, um, the whole dungeon of this part of the world map. Like, the big dungeon. And really, after you take care of this, you're kind of done with the real tutorial because the job system gets unlocked. So, very useful. Anyways, the sealed cave contains a ton of undead enemies. And they're honestly pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie, they really are. So... It's good to have your party all at least at level 4, preferably level 5 like me, but the more the merrier, of course. More like level 6 or 7 if you can. But hopefully I don't run into too much trouble. And, okay, there's an encounter. What could this be? Skeletons, okay. These are actually some of the more difficult enemies in the dungeon. For numerous reasons. I mean, they have pretty decent health, pretty decent attack. I'm not going to be using Cure. They are weak to Cure, though, so keep that in mind, but I'm not going to be using that. Because I believe it's better to be using your cures for healing, and hopefully I can... Yeah, look at that. 33 damage per attack. That's... That's brutal. That's definitely brutal. Alright. There's one down, and the second one is... Gonna go down very soon. <clears throat> or maybe not. Okay, please... Please attack before him. You can't get hit again. You can't. No! God damn it! How could you let a freaking skeleton... Outspeed you? Every hit counts in here, Rick. I can't be taking too much damage because there are a lot of enemies. There are. Freaking garbage, man. Seriously. Alright, alright. We gotta start with a cure. Oh my god, that's already one down. We only have three left. Technically, we have more, you'll see, because we're, we're actually going to be getting a cure spell in this dungeon. So that's useful. But I just hope the encounter rate isn't too ridiculous because at this point, it's, it's difficult. It is. Plus, you don't have a teleport spell, so I can't just get out of here when things are too tough, you know, and then heal up and come back in here. It's a lot more difficult. So everybody kill the skeleton first. I prefer that. Yeah, see, they freaking outspeed me, man, every time. Damn swift skeletons. Now, those mummies or whatever are slow, so that's good, but I'm pretty sure that they're even stronger than the skeleton. 64, oh, nice. I think I got a good hit there, good combo. Yeah, you'll see that, that, that the attack, like, calculation is sometimes a bit weird. Because sometimes you get a lot of hits in there, and it's really nice. So yeah, that, that was nice. We only got hit once by the skeleton, and we level up again until we're level 6. So we're making some pretty good progress. That's useful. Now, up here, make sure to go to the very top. Because there's actually... Wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not there yet. What am I talking... Oh, let me see. Yeah. Up here, go to this place. Because there's a cure spell. Now, I'm going to be giving this to... Luneth, actually. Here, take it. Cure spell. Good reason as to why, but it will be explained much later in the LP as to why I gave him the white magic. So, this path is pretty linear, pretty straightforward. Another encounter, let's see what we get. Oh man, we can't encounter the difficult ones. What the hell? This is not good. Skeletons are, you know, you gotta be aware of them. You really have to watch out. Alright, let me see. 28 damage, that's not bad. Oh yes, I'm outspeeding them. Kill one, kill one. No, you had to kill him before he got the attack in, man. And of course, that one attacks, not the other one who's gonna attack now. Are you kidding me? This game just loves to troll you, it seriously does. Alright. Everybody attack, we can kill him now. Simple. And of course, see, see what I'm talking about? No, that's, that's, that's BS. And now when he's gonna go down, he attacks before everybody, yet he attacked like almost last. Jesus. I mean... There's no agility set in this game, and I think it's there for a reason, not to make it freaking random. That's why sometimes the agility doesn't even matter in, these, in some of these older Final Fantasy games where, you know, it says, oh, agility, or, wait, is it agil agility or speed? Yeah, agility. See, 8, 8, 8, everybody's tied. Unless they were tied, I mean, but sometimes even when you have more agility, 
like enemies go before you even in like the older Final Fantasies like 1 and 2 mostly in those actually but um, let's see let's get a cure here heal everybody oh, the is in danger I hate to just use it on him well actually the, these two are weak too so just use one more there 70 that's fine I'm not gonna waste another cure hell no alright so we gotta get through here hurry up no more encounters please um down here thank you okay we are in the second area this one is actually fairly simple down here there's a chest want to grab it that contains 500 gil and then up here there's actually a little secret simply tap on it that skull thing and this will make an area be revealed on the right side hidden pathway all right let's go so this one right here contains oh actually let me see oh cutscene cutscene time this is Princess Sarah. Ingus, think the heavens you're alright. Milady, you must hurry back to the castle. We will take care of the rest here. But before you go, we need to borrow your mithril ring. There is no need. I will go with you. I have come here to banish the djinn and save my people just like you. Her royal highness has spoken. What should we do? She should be alright as long as Ingus looks after her. No harm will come to Lady Sarah as long as I live and breathe. Thank you, everyone. Alright, cool. Princess Sarah has joined the party. You might be thinking, a fifth party member? No. Princess Sarah joins as a guest member. Guest party members in general, they don't do too much, like, like, guests later in the series. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, okay. Tutorial stuff. So, yeah, um, if you press the, well, for me, it's the Y button. If you press the, no, I mean, I mean X button, sorry. Jesus. X. The Jin is a fire elemental. It should be susceptible to cold. So it should be weak to the blizzard spell and the Antarctic wind item. Good job, Ark. Yeah, so, you know, guest members in this game give you hints. But that's not it. They also do random attacks in battle, even though they don't participate in the battle fully, like in later Final Fantasies. They do actually participate in battle and, you know, get like one attack in there every three turns or something. Or four turns, I don't know. But... They're not useless, let's just say that. They're not useless, because they do help. So, we are in the final... Wait a minute, is it? Yeah, I believe so. The final room, even though this one's pretty large, though, this room here, so you gotta be careful. Hopefully I can do it. Alright, there's an encounter already. And I believe these are actually really easy enemies. Watch, I could be all wrong. They're gonna do freaking 50 damage per hit, just watch. Oh yeah, these are easy enemies, and boom, I get one-shotted. 33. Um, okay, 25, that's not terrible. Kill one, kill him, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you. Limit the damage we take. That's our goal here, enough to limit the damage we take. 64, yes. Cool. Alright, let's see here. How much did I get? 66 6 experience. Ark's job level has increased. Reef his job level, and... Alright, that's it. Alright, let's see. No need for cure. I can hold off on that. There's actually an item down to the south. This part is optional. But again, I'm going to be going for... Pretty much every single chest in this game, I'm gonna try to 100% the game. And Arctic Wind, that's actually really useful. You will see. I mean, you did already get the hint that the Jin is weak to ice, so you wanna do this. Alright, alright, yes, no encounters, yes, thank you, okay. I moved a. Oh, what the heck? Wait, are these different color? Oh, shadows, oh shoot. These look hard. I'm not kidding, they look freaking hard. 19. Um, yeah, 39. Don't attack Reefia, please. I don't want to waste the Phoenix on this early. Thank you. That's one down. But this guy's going to attack. Don't attack Reefia. Do not. But guess who just kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes. All right, so they seem like they're just skeletons. I mean, they had, they had around the same health, around the same damage. Maybe slightly stronger, but... Oh, well. Oh, let me see here. I'm going to use a cure because if she gets hit again... The other two are full, though. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna use a cure by Luness so I can just split the cures out in case I. It basically improves flexibility. There, done. The good news is that I'm actually really close. Um, let me see. Where the hell am I though? I don't know. Am I? What the? Wait, there's a chest down here, right? Let me see. Yeah, there is. Okay. Got the chest. Eye drops. Cool. The pathway to go would be over here towards the left, and then we gotta head south. And we're actually really close to the boss. I think only one more encounter, maybe two at the most. Okay, these are not too hard. That's good, I like that. Attack, 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 attack. Please outspeed them. You want to kill them. Oh, yes, thank you. This is what I'm talking about. See, they randomly attack. 
So she's going to use Arrow, which is a wind elemental attack, and I don't know if these are weak to that or... Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. I just said that they're not useless, that they actually have some value in certain battles, and they do. They just save me and give me free experience, pretty much. They? More like her. I don't know why I said they. Seriously? I think it's just because I was talking about guest members in general, and I just said they, as in guest members, but... Still doesn't make sense. Alright, alright, alright. Yes, we're close there. Okay, that place. Um, let me see. There's no need for a cure, or maybe there is. Well, I just leveled up. That's the thing. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's get a cure. Alright, now let me see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Ingus in the back. Reefia only has one cure left, but she's not really gonna... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put Ark in the back, because he has... Well, let me see. If I were to put Reefia in the front, I'm putting Ark in the back, who's going to use the items? Let's see. Luneth can actually attack. Ark has no MP, so we can't... You know what? I'm going to put Ark in the back then. And because of that, I'm going to give the better equipment to... Yeah. Let's go ahead and remove the longsword. And then I'm going to go to equipment and give you the other longsword. There we go. And you can have the dagger. Because for the most part, Ark is not going to be attacking. He's going to be using items. Reef is going to be attacking, so she needs, you know, her good stuff. And Lumeth is going to be attacking, too. Alright, cool. I believe we got this. Let's do this, freaking Jin. Prepare to meet your doom, Jin. This ring will banish you once and for all. You're going to die before we even fight you. Nothing's happening, but why? Ha 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 ha. Your bobble has no power over me now that I am infused with the power of darkness. What? Alright, so apparently the Mithril Ring doesn't work. We have to beat him. So, bosses in this game are kind of funny when, you know, they're on the overworld and then you go to the battle screen and they turn gigantic. Some actually transform into like a beast version, which you'll see later in the game. But, anyways, this guy has, I believe, 650 health. Again, I could be wrong, but it's on screen. And he is weak to ice, I'm pretty sure on that, because even the game confirmed it. So, I'm going to attack with Luneth. Arik is going to be using an Antarctic Wind, which deals ice damage. Reefia is going to attack. And Ingus is going to be using Blizzard, which is why I put him in the back. So let's see here. Antarctic Wind, which does 414. Wait, wait how, what did I just say? How much health did he have? I don't know what I just said. Okay. Bosses in this game can attack twice per turn, by the way. There's some that can attack three, but only way later in the game. But yeah, if you use an Antarctic Wind, the battle is extremely easy. You'll see why. There we go. One turn down. The Antarctic Wind is still over 400 damage, and he has, I believe, 650 health. I could be wrong again, but somewhere there. So, that's what makes the battle really simple. If you don't have Antarctic Winds, the battle can actually be fairly formidable, so you want to be careful. Receive 50 experience, but we got a lot of gill on that, too. Luneth gains a level. Very nice. Okay. You are down, Jin. You cannot escape the ring's power now. Kill him. Kill him, Sarah. No! And he's down. Yep, he just disappeared. We did it. We've done it. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, what the hell? We just disappeared. We're, we're ghosts now. You must return to the castle, milady. Do not fear for us. We will be fine. What is happening? Oh, man. We just, like, teleported. What the hell is this? We turned into ghosts. But we, but we won the battle. We're not dead. We're not ghosts. What the hell? Where are we? Yeah, where are we? Oh, it's this place, huh? Yeah, the crystal area in, in the beginning of the game. So Luneth is like, deja vu? Yeah. I recognize this place. It's the cave with the crystal. Oh, really? I mean, because we can't tell that we're in a freaking cave, and we can't tell that there's a freaking giant crystal in front of your face. So, it's the cave with the crystal. No, yeah, yeah. It is I who summoned you. So, what's going on here? You four have been chosen to be the warriors of the light, the bringers of hope. 
you must take with you the last of my light and the last of our world's hope. Unless you act, the light will be lost and the equilibrium forever broken. Once you take in the light, you will be able to extract the power from the other crystals. So the four of us have been chosen to destroy the dark and bring the light. We don't know too much about this, but all we know is that the four of us have been chosen. So interesting. Very, very interesting. So like I said, this is the true end of the, of the uh, introduction, like the tutorial portion of the game. So here you actually get um, kind of the credits, I mean it's, it's rather funny, but I'm not going to show the entire thing because I believe you can cut it after a while. Or I don't know, I mean, I've always like just ended up, I don't know. Because I pressed it before, after a certain uh, after a certain time, and it just, you know, like, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? I don't know. Okay, you probably hear a loud car in the background, that's, or a truck, I should say, that's actually the garbage truck. Huh. So yeah. All right, all right. We get this, people. We get this. I mean, I just decided to keep it. Because I'm pretty sure you can skip it, but the thing is, I don't want to try. I mean, I said I, was, I wasn't going to show the whole thing, but actually, I feel like I should, you know? It's it's like the proper introdu introduction, you know? It feels like it should be kept in there. And yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> Nothing else to say. But, yeah, um, the game... We'll get very interesting now. Oh, okay, I'll just stop talking now. When the four were... Were what? Oh, bathed in its light. They, I couldn't read that. You must drive the darkness from this world and restore light to its rightful place. You are our last hope. Okay, so these crystals, they are, they're speaking to us in a... I mean, I don't know. It's hard to know the entire story right now, but these crystals are saying... Or somebody's probably talking through these crystals... And they're saying that they need help, that the world is shrouded in darkness secretly and we have to bring the light or something and help it. And we four are the chosen ones. We'll get more backstory later, probably, but... Yeah. That's it for now. You have been blessed with the crystal's light. So, what does this mean? Well, this actually means that we get access to the job system. We get jobs. And you'll see. The job system is really fun. Now go, step on the shining circle behind this altar to return to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of the light. Okay. So it took us four parts to go through the entire tutorial. Introduction of the game. Congratulations, Koopa. You can now change jobs. You can access job specific abilities by changing jobs, Koopa. By the way, that's a Moogle, in case you didn't know. Moogles are recurring cute characters in Final Fantasy. They're really cute, they really are. Just like Cactuars and Tonberries and Chocobos, you know. Alright, there we go. And, let's get out of here. Because I want to exit this place before I actually... Okay, so there's the crystal. We don't want to do that, though. We want to just step on this thingy and go. So yeah, that Moogle actually told us about the job system. And here it is, job gets unlocked. So, there are more than just these jobs in the game. There's six right now, but you will keep getting more and more every time you save a crystal. We got one there. Save a crystal, meet up with a crystal, I don't know. There's four crystals. And, yeah, you'll see. But, warrior, monk, white mage, and black mage. So I'm going to be changing Luneth to a warrior. Job adjustment phase means that for the next two battles... Um, Lunette's stats will be slightly lower than usual because, you know, it's just so that the game wouldn't let you, like, cheat and change stuff all, all the time, you know, whatever. But actually, I'm going to be doing this next time. So, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.